All right, how you doing? Uh, Dr. Chris Stoudinger, DC here. And today this uh, video is about the 15, 15, 15, 8, 12 set structure. This is based on the work of uh, Dr. Darden. Um, this workout is the most incredible workout I've ever seen for getting results. And by results, I mean building muscle and burning fat and doing it simultaneously. Uh, this is the only workout I've really seen that gets people over 38 results and, and relatively quickly. Um, the subject matter is a little dry. Uh, but what Dr. Darden has figured out is, is the way to maximize your results and the way to do a set. Um, this um, structure can be really applied to just about any exercise and it's a way to do an exercise to really shock and push your muscles uh, to get a result. Uh, and that intensity um, tells your muscles to adapt and when the, the muscle tries to adapt, it releases the right hormones, and that's kind of where the, where the magic happens, where you can build muscle and, um, and, and burn fat at the same time. Um, explaining it to you in the next part of the video can be a, a little technical, but I, I promise you it's not nearly as complicated as it sounds, but once you do it and once you put it into practice, um, you're gonna see you get way better results. I'm um, also going to link to some other workouts uh, in the description that will also kind of show you, kind of teach you the basics of it too, more in practice without you having to, to think about it. But uh, thank you for clicking on the video. I uh, ho hope you enjoy it. Any questions or um, concerns or feedback, please leave it in the comments. And thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Steidinger, DC. Um, and today we're going to talk about the 15, 15, 15 set structure. Now, it's a way to do a set to get you maximum results. And by maximum results, I mean to build muscle and burn fat. Um, when you get to the age of 30, you start losing muscle mass, about a half a percent per year, and that accelerates as you get older. Uh, the average person loses over 20 pounds of muscle by the time they turn 65. And obviously, that's, that's a negative. Uh, it's a negative if you want to keep your metabolism high. It's a negative if you want to look good in clothes. It's, it's a negative um, you know, if you just want to be strong, be healthy, and be the best version of you. So this set structure has been proven to help people build muscle and burn fat up to the age of 85. Um, so um, a set structure is how you do a set. It's not a particular exercise. So if we look at a set, um, there's four motions in every set. There's the contraction of the muscle. There's the top of the rep. There's the negative, uh, and then the bottom of the rep. So there's the contraction or positive, the top of the rep, um, the negative or um, the relaxing of the muscle, and then the bottom of the rep. Now, depending upon what set you're doing, um, like a, this, is, this would be a bicep curl. If you're doing a squat, um, this is the negative. You know, that would be, this would be the bottom, this would be the positive, and that would be the top. Um, if you're doing a, um, if we're doing a push up, this would be the negative, this would be the bottom, this would be the the positive or contraction, and that would be the top. So depending upon what type of exercise you're doing, um, it corresponds with whether that's a positive, whether that's a negative, whether that's the top, or that's the bottom. Sorry, that can be a little bit. Um, so with this set structure, we're going to try to not spend any time um, at the top or the bottom. And we want to keep the muscle working about 80 seconds to 100 seconds, so roughly around 90 seconds. Um, give, or give or take 10 seconds. So I'm going to demonstrate what the set structure is going to look like in a second. But basically, you're going to go real slow for the first 45 seconds. And then you're going to go much faster for the, for the next, you know, 40 to, 40 to 50 seconds. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right here. So I'm going to set, uh, set my little uh, stopwatch. So it's, it's 15, 15, 15. And then we're going to do... Um, eight to 12 reps of a two second positive with a three second negative. So this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna start with a negative. So we're gonna just go really slow. This is a lighter weight than I would normally use for this. You always wanna pick a weight that kind of challenges you. But, so I'm just doing the negative. I'm relaxing my muscle for the first 15 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna start coming up. This is a positive now. I'm gonna do the positive for um, 15 seconds. Eventually, you can count in your head, but whenever you first start doing it, um, a stopwatch or a cell phone is, is useful. So now I'm going to go down for 15 seconds. Okay. And now, once I get to the bottom of this rep, I'm going to come up for two seconds and then down for three seconds. 
everything. So now I'm going to come up for two seconds, then I go down for three seconds. Up for two seconds, down for three seconds. Up for two seconds, down for three seconds. Now you want to maintain that speed at the point where you can do 12 reps um, of that of, with good form, it means you, need, you graduate to the next weight. You want to increase the weight by a little bit. Um, and then that's also the genius of the system is you, um, you keep increasing the weight so you have progressive overload. So I stopped a little early there, but you kind of get the idea. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, so again, we're going to go down. It's first 45 seconds. It's a 15 second negative, 15 second positive, 15 second negative. And then it's a two second positive with a three second negative. At the point where you can do 12 reps, you increase, you increase the weight of that a little bit. Um, so hopefully that wasn't too dry. Hopefully you got it. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, talk to you later.